Gloria um, Gloria Lynch, 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 when Lynch was here, she would yell at you for that because that means bad luck. Does everybody have their cups? Uh, Let's raise the cups to the bride. Oh, it's the first time. It's the um, Lynch 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 Cuban beliefs. Um, it's Cuban beliefs. Um, well, it's Cuban beliefs. Um, well, it's not American. They're not American. They're not American. Huh. She's like, where's the napkin? Where's the napkin? Here, Tara. I'm like, why? What'd you do? Nothing. Uh, all right. Cheers to the bride. Yay. We're going to have fun today. Woo! Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Love ya. <laughs> Oops. What? Oh, yeah. I don't usually have that. That doesn't usually cause it when we get spice coffee. It up. When you, you like spice, though, don't you? I love spice, but it's not usually, that doesn't usually do it to me. It's usually the coffee, and I have coffee. So. Oh, okay. Get you guys in here. Careful what you're watching here. <laughs> All right. Now I, I forgot pictures. to say we put a button champagne with us. You can come over I here and get one from that side. 
Help yourself. Well, Gina, I don't see him either. I gotta ask her what she did with him. Go for it. She walks over the top of your plate. Oh, those are it. Okay, yeah. Gene had these four to me for David and I. Oh, what? What? Would you name some of them? Yeah, and they say, I, I still love them. I love all those. those. Yeah, that was good. So I guess those are there for you to eat a piece of cake with. Here. I think she thought that's what I meant. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. And he's like, yes, you two. Like, well, we're already married. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 
like, and the guy halfway out the door just turns around and goes, oh, that's nice too. I don't know if I'll this right now, so no. I will do that after. It's for you. Yeah, you know when you are ready to go everybody. I need you guys. Okay. We lost the shoe. And it hurts, it hurts. Here. 
It hurts, it hurts. So, come on, listen. Oh, give me the soda. You don't need the soda right now. Okay. Can you get Corey? I am. Oh. Hi, buddy. Hi, Chad. Yeah. I want to stay in the shade anyway. Where are we going? You're coming right next to I am like, in the uh, right uh, okay. You just so confused us. Look at that. Yeah, queen. Okay, I'm going to watch this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it was me, huh? Hey. I don't know she's tall enough. She's not going to be tall enough. Yeah, I'm going to hold her up. <laughs> Everyone, close your eyes on the count of three. You're going to have them open and you're going to be looking right at me. All right? Okay. So, <laughs> eyes closed. Good job, <laughs> okay. All right. Eyes closed. On three, we open. One, two, three. Open them. <laughs> Can I have you step in a little bit more? Perfect. We're going to do this again. We're going to close eyes on the count of three. You're going to look. Right at Josh. All right. Uh, well, no, I think going to be switched. Just that they're going to be reversed sure? from the altar. He's going to be on the other side. Should we yeah. do that now? Or switch like, them. Not we can switch them. Switch them. All right, Derek. Put your glasses in your pocket. Put your glasses in your pocket. This light. I don't have the light. Just so y'all know, oh, Silas didn't know who I was. Uh, hey. Uh, he said, uh, who is that? Uh, that? Somebody said, your grandma? That's my grandma. <laughs> All right, everyone, eyes okay. closed. Eyes closed. And on three, one, two, three, open. Open them, man. Open. Now you're about to try. 
We said open, her eyes were closed, her mouth was open. <laughs> Watermelon? I was thinking about the pineapple and tequila. Derek, a little hustle. So everybody's going to move in close Brian, to us. Brian, Brian and Boom are going to be center point. Everyone's going to be kind of moving in a V-shape. A V-shape. So you're going to be coming in right here. You're going to be like this. Same with you. You're going to be like a V-shape. Okay. Okay. And we're going to be coming in. I'll be right here waiting for you. This is a complicated one. Oh, she recording? You can edit that out, right? <laughs> Zane that said that. It was Zane that said it. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Mom, I love you. Let me do a call. <laughs> Mom of the year right there. <laughs> oh, I'm in? Everybody on this side, you can step forward a little bit and spread out more. Oh, oh. No, this 
everybody.
day I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind. Melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you He's now to be among the calling of your heart Rest assured It's true it all It's acting on it is part Union of your spirit's ear Has caused him to remain For an effort to or more of you I've gathered in his name There is love There is love. Well, a man shall leave his mother, and a woman leave her home. They shall travel on to where the two shall be as one. As it was in the beginning, it's now until the end. Woman draws her life from man who gives it back again. There is no. relationship where two people must listen, compromise, and respect. It's an arrangement that requires a multitude of decisions to be made together. Listening, respecting, and compromising go a long way towards keeping peace and harmony. Marriage is a union in which two people learn from their mistakes, accept each other's faults, and willingly adjust behaviors that need to be changed. It's caring about each other to work through disappointing and hurtful times and believing in the love that brought you together in the first place. Marriage is patience and forgiveness. It's being open and honest, thoughtful and kind. 
Marriage means talking things out, making necessary changes, and forgiving each other. It's unconditional love at its most and understanding and vulnerable. Love that supports, comforts, and is determined to triumph over every challenge and every adversity. Marriage is a partnership of two unique people who bring out the very best in each other. And you know that even though they are wonderful as individuals, they are even better together. Some of you were at Dave and Brenda's wedding 47 years ago tomorrow, and some of you thought it wouldn't last. Many of you have become part of their family only recently along this beautiful journey of theirs. Whether you're an old friend or new, welcome. We're so grateful you're here today as David and Brenda renew their commitment to each other. For many of us, marriage feels like a final destination. After years of searching for our soulmate, when we finally find them and get to celebrate that love through the wedding, it's the most extraordinary gift that we can think of. It's an extraordinary gift for us. But then something even more extraordinary happened. <coughs> David and Brenda began to build a life together. They encountered new challenges they never had to face on their own, discovered new joys that they never dreamed of. After seven years together as man and wife, they started adding to their family. On December 19, 1983, they became the parents for, for the first time. And by 1989, they were the proud parents of three little girls, Sheena, Bethany, and Gina. And just when they thought their family was complete, God had other plans for them and gave them the best son that anyone could ask for. <laughs> <laughs> and they made a home as family and filled it with laughter and warmth. And now they have eight beautiful grandchildren. They learned that marriage is so much more than a destination. It's the start of a wonderful life. So today, they celebrate that with you and renew the vows they made on their wedding day, July 24th, 1976. They planned their wedding in just 10 days, and they didn't get to do it right. It has always been their plan to someday, in the distant future, do a real wedding, and to have that full experience. So here we are today. That dream has finally come to be. Let's give them our love and support. And your mom and dad, please continue to take each other's hands. <laughs> and I'll be ready. I, David, promise to love and honor you, to support you through the good times and the bad, to shoulder your burdens as if they were my own, and to celebrate each joyful success by your side. I promise to treat you with kindness, compassion, and patience. And to remain honest and faithful. This day and every day for me, as your loving friend and husband. And mom, it's your turn to say after me. I, Brenda, promise to love and honor you, to support you through good times and bad, to shoulder your burdens as if they were my own. and to celebrate each joyful success by your side. I promise to treat you with kindness, compassion, and patience, and to remain honest and faithful this time. <laughs> to remain honest and faithful this day and every day forward as your loving friend and wife.
<laughs> David and Brenda, you first made these vows to each other 47 years ago. Two young kids taking a leap of faith into an unknown future. You didn't know on that day what married life would have in store for you. And it's been a life that's grown infinitely more full and joyful with each passing day. As deeply in love as you were, this time has given you more happiness than you could ever expect. It hasn't always been easy, of course. But it's been true, and it's been honest, and that's made it beautiful beyond the days. Forty-seven years ago, you promised to walk life's path together. Today, you know that you've only made a start on this journey. As you commit to each other again, keep your hearts open to the extraordinary gifts that I have given you. Yes, there is a bathroom here. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> All the way down there. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah.